five. Now at one, the major cleanup continues as authorities search for answers following a massive oil spill along the Orange County coast. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 1. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Sandra Mitchell. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm in today for Lou Parker. We just heard from Coast Guard officials and the company responsible for that 126,000 gallon spill. Yeah, this disaster is threatening wildlife while shutting down beaches from Huntington Beach to Dana Point. We have live team coverage from reporters covering all the angles of the oil spill, including the efforts to save at-risk wildlife. First, Orange County Bureau Chief Chip Yost live in Huntington Beach with an update from officials. Chip. Uh, yeah, good afternoon, guys. We just stepped away from a news conference that's going on right now. As you were talking about, the Coast Guard was giving an update about the cleanup efforts. Also, the CEO of the company that runs that pipeline and the oil rig near where this break happened also spoke. We'll talk about that in a moment. First, let's show you some video from a little earlier today about the cleanup efforts. You can see this video from Sky 5 HD where they're using large booms and a skimmer in the water to try to skim some of the oil off the surface of the water. That is going on all over the place right now they say that this break this oil that leaked has been seen all the way as far down as Laguna Beach because of that beaches all through Orange County have been closed it started with Huntington Beach being closed on Sunday and also the Pacific Air Show being caused to shut down. It was supposed to be the third day of the Pacific Air Show. They had to close that down because of this oil leak. Now, we just heard, like I said, from the CEO and some officials, and one interesting thing that happened, the District of Attorney, District Attorney of Orange County is getting involved and had some very strong words for the CEO after he spoke at this news conference. The CEO spoke about the investigation that's going on to try to figure out what caused this oil leak. They say they think it happened about six miles offshore. We've been hearing about five to six miles offshore. They believe it was a pipeline connected to one of these oil rigs out there, an oil rig named Ellie. The company is Amplify Energy out of Houston. The CEO was asked at the news conference if it's possible this leak, which could have leaked up to a, as many as 126,000 gallons of oil into the ocean, if it's possible it was caused by a ship anchoring like an anchor from a ship going down and accidentally breaking the pipeline. He said that is one thing they are looking into. Also mentioned they are sending divers down today to take a look to try to pinpoint the exact spot of where the leak happened. Well, that's where the DA Todd Spitzer from Orange County comes in. He does not believe that investigators from the company should go there alone. He thinks that investigators from a law enforcement agency at least should go along with them. Here are some of his words he had after that CEO spoke. As soon as I leave here, I'm...